Are Patriots fans crazy to think the spending will automatically equal success? Oh, I'm sorry, Jen. I was just vomiting in my mouth when I saw that graphic. Yeah, the Patriots next year are going to be like the two Jets teams on there and the Dolphins that didn't make the playoffs. So just let me get this straight, Coach. The Patriots didn't have enough weapons last year and had a bunch of guys opt out, and that was the issue of why they weren't successful, and everybody agreed with it. So Bill Belichick said, yeah, that's the plan, and now we get a ton of guys, new guys to get Cam weapons and get Trent Brown back and get Kyle Van Noy back and get two tight ends, which we've had a ton of success in two tight end systems, and the rationale from the Patriots haters is this. Ah, oh, too many guys. Oh, they're, they're too successful. <laughs> it's like the dream team. What are we going to do? Got to add Christian Leitner. You got to, you know, switch it up a little bit. Can't have too many guys. It's like the Nets. Oh, do we even want James Harden? I don't know. It's going to be too much. So I reject this wholeheartedly, Coach, as a desperate attempt from people trying to tamp down the rising phoenix of the New England Patriots dynasty. I, I absolutely love your enthusiasm. And, and although they had an influx of talent, you comparing it to the dream team, I think, is, is a little bit of a stretch. That's the biggest stretch that I've heard in, in, a, in a long time. This feels a little bit like, like watching the World Series of poker. You know, the guy loses a bunch of chips, and then the next hand he's trying to get his chips back, so, so he goes all in. And the reality is that yeah. hundred million dollars oh. is going to be depend. That hundred million is going to be dependent Gambling. on the five million that they paid Cam Newton. It's how well the quarterback can improve in the second year in the system <clears throat> is going to be more influential on their success than, than than anything else. And when you when you look at Bill's track record, you know there's one winning season without Tom Brady in seven years. So this is this is a really important year for him in, in terms of, of a legacy play. And, and look, when you spend $100 million of the owner's money, to whom much is given, much is expected. And, and just like you are, I have a high expectation as a, as a Patriots fan, you know, they're going to have high expectations as an organization too. But it comes down to $5 million, you know, invested in Cam Newton. Coach, let me ask it this way to you, though, because I... I think some of the Patriot excitement, some of wild stuff is the, the kind part of my heart says adorable. The other part of my heart says nauseating. It's probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, but, the, the, but like this, this idea of like, hey, they were great with two tight ends. Yeah, when the tight ends were Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez, one of the greatest, maybe the greatest ever do it, and a guy who was a dynamic player in this league, even though we don't talk about him as such, obviously, anymore. I... So I, I don't see that. My question to you is this, though. If you were in charge of the Patriots this offseason, would you have done something similar? Would you have brought back Cam, knowing the landscape and knowing what the alternatives are? And would you have said, listen, even if we're overpaying a bit, we have to upgrade the weapons, the skill positions, or how would you have done things if you were the one pulling the levers of free agency this year? Yeah, I, I don't I don't have a problem with what they did. The fact that they brought Cam back, to me, is not a bad decision at all. And they got him for $5 million. They got him for $5 million less than Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay, and that gives you a lot of there options go. To, to, to go do other things. And the way that, that the cap is structured this year, where it's a, it's a down year, it's going to be up in future years. So these contracts in, in future years are going to be much smaller than, than they look now because of the expansion of the cap. So I think from a long-term planning perspective, I don't have an issue with that. It's just whether or not turning over, you know, with a draft, 20% of the team is, is going to give you the pop that you want. There is a Patriot way, and the Patriot way is reinforced in the locker room. And when Ooh. so many new guys are, are in, in, uh, fused to a locker room, you, you're not getting that same, that same pop. And, and there's a learning curve with free agents. There you go. You said it. The Patriot way. I'm not going to get cute with my, my answer, Coach. You know, she asked, Sp uh, will they have success after this spending spree? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. 
Why? Because yes, of the thank Patriot you, way. What is the Patriot way? I, I'm thinking about this thing, Wilds. I'm sitting back and I'm like, you know thank what? You. I've been crushing Bill Belichick, the general manager. I was crushing him last year. He didn't set up my guy, Cam Newton, for oh, success. Please. But then I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, the Patriot way. What is the Patriot way? He has been telling us. He sat Tom Brady in the front. And he said, I'm going to hold you accountable like I hold everybody else accountable. If you throw a pick in practice, I'm going to call you out in front of the whole team. I don't care how many Super Bowls you won. I don't care how many MVPs. I don't care if you're the GOAT. If you jump off sides, if you make a mistake, mistake pre-snap, you go run a lap just like everybody else. And so what is that saying to you? He doesn't think that Tom Brady was bigger than the team. That's why he made the moves he made. So now when you look at the Patriot way, what is the Patriot way? Because I always ask these questions when guys come into our locker room and they're coming from the Patriots organization. Like, who? how is Bill? You know, what are some of the things that he say? What, what makes him different? And this is what they say. This is the number one thing. Bill will sit, come in to meet and say, they're going to hurt themselves. Let them beat themselves. Because the Patriot way is 12 personnel. You said it, Nick. We're going to go back to Daniel Graham and Ben and Ben Watson playing 12 personnel, two tight ends. And then it then they came to Aaron Hernandez and Gronkowski. And now what did they do? They doubled down on the Patriot way and they brought in Hunter Henry and then also uh, Janu Smith. So when you think about the Patriot way, he is setting himself up for success again right now. Don't beat ourselves. Let them beat themselves. We're going to play good defense. We're not going to hurt ourselves on special teams. So we're going to win the hidden yardage battle. That's the Patriot way, Nick. And I'm telling you right now, the answer is yes. And I'm getting ahead of this right now. This team is going to be right well, back where they need to be. Coach, you're Friends, shaking your head. The, Why are you shaking your head? Well, Let me hear it. Because the Patriot way isn't, isn't a, a personnel group. It, it, it's a lifestyle. And, and here's... Here's the thing is when you have Tom Brady oh, sitting son. in the front row and you call him out and he accepts the coaching as the greatest player of all time with the incredible amount of success he has, it's such a powerful tool to everybody else on the team. But when you don't have Tom Brady sitting there and you're calling guys out, it's not for everybody. It didn't work out for some other high uh, high price free agents that went in there. Adelius Thomas had, you had some Cam issues. Newton. I, 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 I know I Cam you, Newton is not Tom Brady. <clears throat> I know I know I know I know Cam Newton is not Tom Brady, but we're talking about a guy who was an MVP in this league, a guy who led his team to the Super Bowl. Was it 2015? I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So now he's sitting in the front and you can now talk to him the same way. We saw him on national television primetime get benched. And what did he do? He sat there and took it. So when you talk about having someone, the superstar athlete on your team, being able to take that, you now you can replace that with Cam Newton. So I push back on that, Nick. Okay. Well, hold on, Brandon. Just one thing. You know how it works in the locker room. It's it's don't tell me you love me. It's show me you love me. And who do who do you love? You right, love who right. you pay. And when you right. pay a dude five million dollars, right. you don't have whether you've been MVP or non MVP, you don't have the same pop in the locker room when your salary is less than you know the slot corner. Well, I do, Coach. So hold on. Let's just stay there just for a second. I know we're we're a little late here, but I do think. No matter what they pay Cam, he has more cachet in a locker room of NFL players than Ryan Fitzpatrick would. Sorry, Fitzy. Than Andy Dalton would, who might be who's making $10 million this year. And I do think when you're talking about the Patriot way and about how you're going to have all these new guys plus the draft picks, having a guy who I still think holds a massive amount of credibility amongst his peers because of who he is and maybe more so who he has been in the past, if he is going to take that, I do think that's part of his value. Like, don't you think that's part of the reason that they're willing to go another year with Cam, even though he struggled last year, was because he holds more cachet than just a typical $5 million quarterback because he's Cam Newton? Yeah, the, he definitely has cachet based off the things that he's done. But when you look at last season in terms of the passing game, his numbers... Aren't aren't going to impress very many people. What do he throw? What do he throw? Twelve picks. Should he be better this year than he was last year with with a year into the system? Yeah, he should. But if he's not playing at a at a high level, guys forget quickly what you've done in the past. Guys don't don't That's care. True. They they came there to win. They want to win. And if you're not helping them win, 
It doesn't matter what your resume says. It matters what you're doing right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.